What's up with the squad? Back with another video. I'm Reckless. I'm Chris. Kaylin Dennett's 10 craziest encounters with Ligrios. Definitely geek to get in this reaction. Um, you feel me? I, I gotta see what this one is about. I would say, yeah, definitely gotta see what this, this is. This is definitely, and her videos are actually good. Yeah, was, that's what I said last night. I said her videos are actually really good. I like them. Yeah, her videos are real good. Um, react to, I think, two, two or three videos. I think it was only two. Um, it was the Black Lives Matter versus Facts. And then, I forgot what the other one was called. It was, I think it was some other, some other liberals oh, yeah. or something. But uh, definitely hit that like button, subscribe, and let's get in the video. Don't drop that got to go, hey, hey! Ho, oh, oh. ho! She's gonna eat it. Go, 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 go. What the f did you say to me? She got offended. When the tables turn, what they say? I forgot what they said about the rabbit, but y'all know what I mean. What they say? I don't know. <laughs> somebody gonna comment. It. Yeah, somebody. Oh, oh, she's gonna eat it. <laughs> the f did you say to me? <laughs> you know I carry, right? Thanks so much to everyone who subscribed to the channel up. and shared my videos over the last few <laughs> weeks. Just take that one time you feel threatened. Right. You gonna feel some hot. <laughs> You gonna feel something hot. Peaks at the Women's March and the University of Cincinnati. Ain't no fun when a rapper got the gun. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Believe it or not, I've been making videos just like that for a while now and have caught some pretty crazy things on camera over the last year, ranging from getting assaulted to being threatened with rape and having David Hall run away from me. Of course, none of this would be possible without your support. So please become a patron today at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett to help fund my activism and make more videos like these possible so we can continue to expose the- She a bold person. Yeah. What she be she going was. through, she bold. Yeah, you gotta have more women bold. like this. There's a lot of women that's scared. Yeah, she goes through a lot. She on it. Intolerant left for who they really are. If you want to support my team at Liberty Hangout, who edits all of my videos and publishes articles on a daily basis, visit patreon.com slash Liberty Hangout to help them out as well. To thank you guys for your support, we put together a video of the top 10 craziest encounters I've had with liberals over the last year and a half. Here they are. Number 10. For y'all, Chris got a mic too. Everybody always say that she don't speak up. We have two different mics. It's not my fault for making it out to be my fault. I put together a poster of flags, which included the American flag, the Confederate flag, and a number of communist flags, and asked students at Kent State which was the most offensive. Their answers probably won't shock you. Confederate flag. And why? Uh, like racist white people, I'm sorry. But racist white people really promote that and use that against black people. Like, you know, like, I don't know. It's just she can't even say what they be saying. <laughs> yeah, I was say. <laughs> she can't say what they be saying. And it's crazy because a lot, a lot of people, when she be doing these interviews, she be like, oh, well, ask a question. They don't got to answer. You know I what I'm like, saying? like, yeah, they get stuck. Like, um, oh, yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> against black people. Like, you know... Like, I don't know. It's just that one. So what's your final say? The Confederate flag. Okay, even though it killed millions of people. Yeah. Dictatorship, their people are starving. Yeah. These people got their rights taken from them. Yeah, all of them are offensive. Oh, except for the American flag. Number nine. One Come day on, before bro. the midterm elections, President Trump came to Cleveland, Ohio to speak at a rally. A couple of sad protesters stood by in the highway, and one kept hitting me with his Trump puppet. <laughs> Do you think that this makes people understand your point? I'll Trump die for you. Uh. Okay, so listen. <clears throat> he looked more suspect than anybody he's talking about because he's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Trump time for Please do not touch me. Please do not touch me. Raise your hand if you think the Democrats are going to lose tomorrow. Please stop touching me, sir. Sir, quit touching me. Stop touching me. Number eight. After gun control yeah, became all the rage in the early half of 2018, I wanted to test college students' knowledge of firearms. We put guns but that's how you know she's a strong person because she don't let any of that shit bother her. And if it get down to that point, hey, I carry. 
Right. Like she said. Star Wars and a board alongside two rifles and a Glock. And unsurprisingly, I learned that liberals want to ban guns that don't even exist. Okay, so out of the guns pictured here, which ones would you advocate to be banned? Well, to the public, obviously, like the this gun looks dangerous, and also this one, and this one, and that one. Ban guns. Which ones would you ban? All with that. Off of this list, which guns? So if somebody come to your house, what you gonna use? I mean, I'm just being real, like, yeah. I pray things like that don't happen, you know, everybody live their life and, but, I mean, you, got you know, but at the same time, you still gotta think mines. about, you know, if something I were to happen. I take it everywhere. Yeah. Got to. You got to. Do you think should be banned? Ban all of them. So do you think this gun does equal harm as that gun? Yeah, in terms of, you know, potentially taking a life. I think so. So this gun is actually from Star Wars. So it couldn't do the same thing as this one. <laughs> Number seven. In the very first video I ever did for Liberty Hangout, I approached a woman yeah, with a feminist no, shirt right. on and asked her if she wanted to end women's suffrage since women are obviously suffering under Trump. She was all for it. Hey, I have a quick question. Okay, how do you feel about Nancy Pelosi's push to end women's suffrage after Trump got elected? Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I don't really like keep up much with like but you have a feminist shirt on. Shouldn't you keep up with the women's suffrage that's going on? What? See, and that's exactly what I talk about all the time when we're reacting to these videos. It's always that one person that has a flag, that has a, a, a shirt on, that has any type of Something apparel. On, yeah. Any type. And they know nothing about nothing. That's like having... I ain't even about to go there. That's, that's like having a, a... I don't even know. I can't even use that. I was about to say some sports thing. It ain't even like that. I mean, it's just because because policy is a little different. I would say yes, yeah, definitely <laughs> a little different. Like but at the same time, that's like you're but wearing something that you don't. Like, you don't even know about. <clears throat> How are you representing something you don't know about? Yeah. She said she don't get much into it, but you bought a shirt. <laughs> She bought a shirt, or she gonna she gonna lie and say, you know what I'm saying, this is my friend, or I'm just following it because of my friends, like that one yep, video. That that dude, yeah. Yeah, I'm just I'm just from out of town. I'm just here supporting my friend. You got a whole shirt on. Come Bye. on, bro. But you have a feminist shirt on. Shouldn't you keep up with the women's suffrage that's going on? Um, yes, I guess you're right. However, I'm only wearing this shirt because I have an event to go to today. So basically she just wants to end women's suffrage. We're that's suffering amazing. under Trump. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well then. Yeah. 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 Okay, we're on the same page. That's awesome. Good. All right, good cool. Idea, Bring that up at your uh, event thing that you're going to. Oh. Number six. In April of 2018, I organized my you first open spot. carry demonstration yeah. at Kent State University. When liberals on campus got wind of this, they organized a protest to demand gun control and put duct tape over their mouths. Does anyone want to comment on anything that they're doing here? Do you guys want to comment? This is what I don't get when it comes to protesting like this. Why is people protesting in silence without conversation? Rather, duct taping their mouth or putting something over their mouth. Or the people, you know, it's a lot of people that do the, uh, they'll go and they'll they'll lay out in the middle of the street. Or they they glue their hands to a wall. You ever seen that? Mm -mm. People, people will take their they hand and like glue it to a wall. You never seen that? No. I've you ever seen, seen a tree hugger? Like a tree hugger when they when they go and hug the tree. Oh yeah. Because they don't want it. It's something like that. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's not weird to you. Yeah. Yeah. Would you go do that? No. You want to go hug a tree? You can go hug a tree, so they want to tear it down. That's you putting yourself. That's, that's weird. But you're not ta like it's a lot that you can do rather than sitting there and doing. I would dumb say shit yeah. Like there's that. like a yeah. A list of things you can do other than doing that. Like, that makes... There's a lot of people that's not that smart in the world, though. Yeah. I feel like and, it's And it's weird. easy to get taught. You just don't yeah. want to listen. Yeah. <laughs> Comment on anything that you're doing here? Does anybody want to comment on anything that they're doing here while they're here today? 
So you have all this Look media this. attention around you and you don't want to say anything. All right, well, that pretty much sums it up. Number five. Last summer, I was invited to speak at the big pro-gun rally in Tallahassee, Florida, which coincided with a March for Our Lives event taking place down the street. After the conclusion of our rally, I ventured over to theirs in hopes of having a conversation with David Hogg, but his security guards hauled him away to the bus as soon as I arrived. You know what that means. That means, is that Caitlyn? Yeah. That's her right there? Mm -hmm. She's been doing this for a while. Well, so yeah, that was the other video she said was her first video. Dang. You know when they when, when she said they left, you know they don't want to be put on the spot. You know they you know you're in the wrong when you leave something when somebody trying to interview you. Yeah. They don't even want to. No person. Get arm wrestle at 100 pound plum girl. Uh, yeah, okay, see ya. <laughs> sorry. Thanks for coming out, guys. Yeah, thank you. Here we go. Number four. Again, with gun control being all the talk last year on campus, my Liberty Hangout chapter hosted an event called Gun Control is Gun Violence. Change my mind. One student was so angered by our event that he assaulted one of our members and broke his $1,000 camera. How about we change that to what? confirmation bias for you, bud? Confirmation well, but we're, bias. But we're giving you facts. We're All you've given us number. so far we're is we should ban the AR-15 because it's high capacity. Right there. You haven't given me we're, one reason other we're than, we're giving you than, than, than anything. I mean... He's such a badass. <laughs> Bro, balling up a piece of paper. <laughs> Rennie can do that. Rennie can rip it. Yeah. Put it in the toilet or something. Yeah. Reason oh. other than we're giving you all than, than, than anything. I mean, all right. I'll do what you want. We're college, but we're just trying to start a discussion. Um, you need to go back to that one. See right there. That's exactly why I can't do these interviews because shit like that. Yeah. Shit like that. Yeah, can't do that. You owe me a thousand dollars. Number three. Just a few weeks ago at the Women's March, this crazy feminist was so bothered by my questions about firearms that she tried grabbing my mic and hitting my boyfriend. You agreed to this this we interview. Right. Get out. We have a right to get the to you. So she she's being pretty disruptive. Are you gonna do anything about it? Um, I he had a, uh, let me shut up. Pretty disruptive. Um, Are you going to do anything about it? Um, I believe you did not want me to. Get the out of my face. Dude, step. He just had a long day. He's just there. There's a couple reasons why he had a long day. Well, we ain't going to go into that. We're going to keep it, we're going to keep it rolling. Are you going to do anything Let me see what chick said. Um, I believe you. Not want me. Get the f out of my face. Dude, step back. Don't tell him to stop Get the f out of my face, too. Go get a red outfit and wear it. Okay. Red <laughs> also, do you need to stand up for her? Take don't, don't leave. Up for her? Take all the sit. Jeez. You know? That's she assault. got bopped. Bro, That's assault. What? You know? Stop. Seriously. Bro, please. That's assault. She got bopped. That is assault. What's your name? Is this your daughter? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Is this your daughter? What's your name? What's your name? Is this your daughter, ma'am? She just assaulted us. Okay, your daughter just assaulted us. Your daughter just assaulted us. Okay, we'll, we'll go let the police know your daughter assaulted us. She better take that pink hat off because I'm police on your ass. Oh, they got pink hat. Right. Please call your daughter assaulted us. The pink hat with the little two. What is it? Look. What hats? What kind of hats are those? Don't touch me, sir. He got on one too. Oh shit. 
Do not touch me. That's fine, but go someplace Please back else. away from me. You've already touched you're me at this point. You're harassing these people. I'm not I harassing. see what you're doing. Leave them be. Number two. Last fall, I attended the truck right rally in Erie, all. Pennsylvania to interview protesters. While I was there, an old man threatened to throw me on the ground and rape me. Very progressive. Not in history. What, tell, tell me about the... Eight. Don't touch me. I want to touch you. Don't touch... Oh, I'm... Why not? I'm, hey, I'm allowed to touch her. No, no. No, you are not allowed to touch me. Yes, I am. No, you are not. The goddamn ground and rape her. Because I have... We all know that ain't gonna work. Bro got an oxygen tank. He got an oxygen tank. That's not gonna work, but if you think about it, as soon as he get down on the ground, it's wraps. He can't even thrust. Ain't it called thrust? He can't even stroke. He needs to go home. How he gonna throw somebody on the ground and do that? Nine no, times out of ten, that ain't gonna be that ain't that ain't gonna be right. His oxygen tank gonna fall. Man, they got the they got the stands. They do got the stands. He got a stand. You know what sickens me though? For him to wear this hat, I just realized he had his hat on. He talking about he gonna throw her down and do that to her, and he got this. That ain't gonna work, bro. That ain't gonna work. And then you, like, this is, that's disrespectful. You wanna just act too? Yeah, you represent, yeah. That's, that's crazy. Don't, t oh, I'm, why not? I'm, hey, I'm allowed to touch her. No, no. No, you are not allowed to touch me. Yes, I am. No, you are not. The goddamn ground and rape her. Because I have rights. No, he, so this man just said that he could rape She got one too? Ground and rape her. Where they at is the air okay over there. Because I have rights. So he, so oh, this is the balloon. I was about to say. This man just said that he could rape me if he wanted to. Look at your, look at your surprise. I don't want, I'm going to go get the officers because that is, that's disgusting. No, no, don't touch me. Don't touch me. No one touched you. Yes, they did. I know he did, but we just got to back up away from this lady's store. Why everybody always get so tough when somebody starts getting Well, somebody pull them back. back. Yeah. <laughs> somebody <laughs> always, it's always that one person. They hold me back. She wasn't doing nothing at first. No one touched you. Yes, they did. I know he did, but we just got to back up away from this lady's store. You can move away. You can move away. That was messed up. That's why. Yeah, it was messed up. I heard that. And I like how there's women defending him when he just said he could rape me. And there's women yeah, defending. I thought we believed women. I thought we supported women. So, that man just said he could rape me. No, he did not. Yes, he did. Girl, shut up. Yes, he did. She wasn't going to write that. A lot of them wasn't. He believed women. I thought we supported women. So, that man just said he could rape me. No, he did not. Yes, he did. <laughs> You're supposed to believe women. Why aren't you believing me? Ma'am, why? And you want to know what's crazy? These are the same people that say Trump be saying shit like that. Right. They hate his guts. But that man just sat there and said that shit. Broad daylight. Everybody around him. Why aren't you believing me? You're a woman. I'm a woman. Believe women. Believe women. So this guy is following me. Do not touch me and do not come near me. Yeah, now you realize it. Do not stay right there. Do not come near me. Oh, we will put it out there. And finally, at number one, perhaps one of my most viral encounters that liberals continue to take out of context to this day. While at the Erie rally, this large feminist started screaming so close into my microphone that I said, she's gonna eat it. She got in my face ready to assault me, so I asked her, you know I carry, right? And she walked away huffing and puffing. Then she went on Twitter later that night, admitting that she intended on punching You about to go? ...in the head. Hey, hey! Oh, oh, oh. Look oh, at her God, shirt. Oh, yes, I have boobs run on my shirt because I'm a liberated woman! I am! That's my top 10 favorite moments from my videos. Which one was your favorite? Comment below and let me know and tell me what campus you'd like to see me visit next. Again, to help me make more of these trips possible, please become a patron today at patreon.com slash Bennett. 
and visit patreon.com slash liberty hangout to support my team. Thanks so much for watching and make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. I don't know. That's crazy. Yeah, I feel like that was... Okay. That last one was pretty crazy. Yeah. Right there, second to last, yeah. I feel like all of them are, though. I feel like it got worse, like, around, like... I the, would say not, they were like all pretty six. crazy, but yeah. that one was... was all right. You feel me? So, I know. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know y'all thoughts on the video. You feel me? Catch y'all next time.